Virtual Manipulatives is another app that is very wide open, so you can find a lot of different ways to use it. This is the title screen, which can be a little overwhelming, but it kind of gives you a brief explanation of how to use the app. I'm going to tap the X here to begin a new one. So here you'll see you have a nice blank screen. And this you could use, I think, as a teacher, putting it up on a screen and showing things, or the students can use it independently as well. If you tap the fractions, decimals, percents over on the left-hand side, you can actually play with a bunch of different things. You can drag things over, so you could, you know, visually represent what one-sixth would be by dragging six squares over and putting them together. If you hold down on it, it will demonstrate what it is um, in percentage and also in decimals. You can also tap on the decimals if you want to, you know, show that same thing with the decimals. And then, of course, there's also percents. Um, you can also do drawings on here. So you could show all this kind of thing. So you could maybe circle what one sixth would be. You could also use this for even learning how to add fractions. Maybe you say, what's one third plus one fourth? And the student has to come up with the answer. You can also tap on the button on the top. There's the orange button with the bulleted list. If you tap on that, you can also change some of your settings. For instance, you can say that you want to use circles instead of the tiles and do OK. And then you can see that it changes it all into circles. And then you can start putting the pieces together in your circles. So there's just a lot of different ways that you can use this app. The sky's really the limit. It can be a great fraction tool, um, but you can also use it for other things as well. So just have fun with it and explore with it.